Hello. Today on the African Forgotten Food series, we are going to talk about uh, some leafy vegetables in the name of African nightshade. African nightshade, the scientific name is Solanum. It is a species of plants in the section of Solanum of genus Solanum. They are commonly consumed as leafy vegetables and herbs. African nightshade grows both in high and lowland areas of West Africa and East Africa. And also, they, particularly in Nigeria and Cameroon, the Nso people call it Nuseji. And the Kom people call it Mbasi, that is for Nigerian Cameroon. Then we also have other names, especially from East Africa, like the, in Swahili is called Mnavu. Maragoli they call it Risuza. Kikuyu Managu. Kisi Rinagu. Luo Osuga. Kipsigis is a yacht. Kamba Kitulu. Maasai Oromoi. Taita call it Nunda. In Luganda, they call it Nsuga. The Keio Sol is a chot. And Lukohonzo is Igo. So, the African uh, nightshade includes the various spices and Solanum scrubum, Solanum villosum, Solanum nigrum, and Solanum american. Now, Let's go to the beautiful section about nutrition information. The leaves of African nightshade contain 87.2 gram water, 1.0 milligram iron, 4.3 grams protein, 38 kilocalories, 5.7 gram carbohydrates, 1.4 gram fiber, 442 milligram calcium, 20 milligram ascorbic acid, 366 microbetamine carotene, 75 milligram phosphorus, and 0 0.5 milligram riboflavin. This is per 100 gram fresh weight. The leaves also contain high levels of vitamin A, B, and C. And phenolics and alkaloids, including cocaine, quinine, nicotine, and morphine. Africanate hit species like Solanum macrocapone, Solanum scrubum, and Solanum villosum are found mainly in Kenya vegetable gardens and in most homes. Now, one important aspect about this African nightshade, which is recommended throughout the African traditions, is it is recommended for pregnant, lactating, and, and women of breastfeeding women, actually women of reproductive age. Why? It's good for people who have iron deficiencies and malaria patients. African is prone to malaria and there is a whole community of women of reproductive age because of iron deficiency. It's a, a big issue and it's also a global pandemic, anemia. Now let's delve in into the health benefits of black night, African nightshade in length. First one, it produces jaundice. It strengthens the liver muscles, therefore getting jaundice away. People suffering from jaundice can make a good diet from the African nightshade. Then the disease will subside. The extract from leaves and the fruits of the nightshade is used to cure liver and jaundice. 
so it's normally prepared let's say like in vegetables or if it's drunk for, uh, i mean as uh, as a juice cures appetite and uh, somebody feels full after that so the homemade medicine for cold it also cures appetite and if somebody does not uh, have a taste of food then while when you're eating african nightshade it brings appetite so you can say it's an appetizer a traditional appetizer or a vegetable for uh, appetizer then uh let's look at uh, the spleen disease the african nightshade has antibacterial activity and this antibacterial activity are the ones that they fight the microorganism therefore increasing the immune response in the body it is strengthens the spleens and soothes the stomach ulcers thereby it also reduces the body heat that is by taking the african nightshade let's look at the areas of ulcers ulcers affect very many people in in very many different ways so mouth ulcers it is advisable to take a regular diet of the african nightshade whether in a juice form or a vegetable form then it will also heal the stomach ulcers along the way let's look at the sore throat it soothes a sore throat especially you know uh, very many people who are doing the public speaking especially the pastors people with teachers in school people who are using their mouth so much even trainers and and even singers so african nightshade is good for you, you can take it in form of juice or in form of vegetables to help to so your throat Nightshade is also a natural laxative agent because it's rich in fiber and also as a natural laxative agent it will prevent constipation being rich in fiber it will also help in the stomach irritable bowel movements it will help to make your stomach digestion much better let's look at the the fever uh it contains phosphorus vitamin a c vitamin b iron calcium and other micronutrients now with this ones it is a best remedy for skin allergy and also the extract cures fever body pain and joint pains so it's a remedy for all that let's look at the kidney, kidney function it is stimulates kidney function by filtering the urine from the kidney with the help of the micronutrients that are found in the vegetables now uh, in pregnancy as you said it helps in faster delivery and also a painful delivery by strengthening and protecting the embryo that is during the pregnancy stages it is a cure for skin diseases skin boils allergies heat boils skin irritation all this can be cured by applying the extract on the wounds it can be act, done as an external medicine applied to the skin for skin treatment let's look at uh, how it can help in sleep the african nightshade fruits the fruits are dried and powdered then they are mixed with water or 
milk then taken during the night then this one actually it provokes good sleep and soothes the body tiredness and then not only that this is also good for people who have tuberculosis and diabetic to include in their diet now how is it made the african nightshade is eaten as a cooked vegetable mixed with other vegetables and it can either be boiled or it can be fried now there's also a fruit part of it which is also eaten now in the commercial or modern industrial world this vegetable can be dried used for later dried and packaged stored in a cool place then it can be used for later especially in people like camps military schools and especially in uh, cities where it is have to be shelved to be bought in a supermarket it is also dried and also the powdered ones can be used in making sauces in food for marinating it can also be used as an additive for good health in baked products baked products you're talking about, about the normal things we cook like chapati roti paratha cakes breads cookies biscuits it can be used in that form as mixed with other so that people can be able to get the good nutrients that are found in the african nightshade so thank you for listening as you normally say food is thy medicine and medicine is thy food let's take care of our bodies in the most natural way these are plant based nature based climate sensitive based and they are easy to cultivate easy to grow and also they nurture our body for the better part of the productivity not only that health systems are very expensive so prevention is better than cure any day any time these foods contain as you have heard very good nutrition and medicinal benefits so our body can be regulated by eating plant based plant based vegetables which are rich in minerals and vitamins so share this information so that people can be able to understand no be aware on how they can have healthy diets uh, kindly subscribe share comment like press the notification button so that when we post another video of the african food series you might be able to be notified thank you very much and be blessed